Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I have one of the Hobby Boxes of 2023 Tops Update Series. Uh, just released today, I know some people have, were getting pre-orders a day or so ahead of time, maybe even two. Um, so definitely excited to open this up. Uh, flagship is always usually one of my favorites. Um, but with that, they did make some changes, uh, if you have not seen at least. Uh, at least with the regular hobby boxes. I can't speak for the jumbos because I haven't gotten jumbos as of yet. But uh, 20 packs. Usually it's 24 cards or 24 packs per box and 12 cards per pack, which if I remember correctly, I believe they used to be 16 cards per pack, if I'm not mistaken. It was either 14 or 16. I, I think it was 16 for the hobbies at least. Um, so definitely a big change, but the thing that didn't change was the price point. Uh, $90, uh, I believe, is the going rate on tops.com. Uh, uh, that's what I actually paid for this box as well. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. Update, I know, is usually kind of hit or miss. I think last year's update was probably the best update out there since um, maybe 18's update. Um, 19's update was decent. Uh, 20's... I felt like it had potential, but never really panned out, I guess. Or just the hobbies never really uh, went, went after the likes of, like, Bichette and Alvarez. But, uh, which are really good players. It's just, um, I don't know. They just don't seek they just don't seek the demand, I guess, within the hobby. Um, I mean, Bo Bichette's definitely one of my favorite players in the league currently. Um, but, so anyway, uh, 20 packs. Uh, we do get our silver packs still, which there's a part of me where I almost... I'm almost shocked that they don't drop these like three cards per pack, but um, but we'll save that one for the end. Of course, that's probably my favorite pack out of the box. The jumbos, you get two. Um, so I don't know, let's get into it. See what we get. Um, basically, not checklist, not a little rough with the rookies. I think uh, Rodriguez for the Orioles, um, Perez for the Marlins, and there's like another rookie or two that is okay in my opinion but we got ben joyce rookie uh we got adam duvall tommy fan john uh Brubia, vaughn grisham rookie debut ryan noda which i'll be honest with you is a name i'm not familiar with but you get a patrick bailey 2023 true rookie gold i'll gladly take that honestly um bailey if i had an okay year, I think, if, if I remember correctly. I'll be honest with you. I uh, didn't really watch too much Giant games this year. Um, I always seem to miss out on, like, West Coast games for the most part for some reason. Well, of course, we may be on the East Coast. But um, but that's actually a decent name out of the checklist, I should say, to pull when it comes to at least true rookies. Garrett Cole, all-star game card, uh, which these are pretty sharp. Usually there's a whole insert set. Of those, um, I don't know. I want to say maybe 50 cards. I have to see. Uh, Tatis and Machado sports new threads regarding their City Connect jerseys. Regular base card. Heart of Gold, Goldschmidt and Arenado. Then we got uh, dual rookies. Uh, Papreski. I'm not too sure if I pronounced that right. And Sedlock. And then Ryan Feltner. So, all right. Patrick Bailey Gold. I'll... I'm okay with that kid to start off. So let's see what we got. We got uh, Jose Alzacar, Garrett Action, Matt Moore, Caleb Thebar. We got Garrett Mitchell, rookie debut. I know he missed uh, a little chunk of the season. Actually, most of the season, I believe. Jake Odorizzi. Then we got Peyton Battenfield, which I'll be honest with you. Another rookie I'm not too familiar with. Uh, let's see, we got Laid Out, Byron Buxton. That's one of the insert sets for this. Um, I think these are like one per 16 packs or something like that. Brian McKenna. Then we got Walk It Off, Pete. Three-run home run, three-run homer. Wins against the Rays. Uh, Brewers, Rookies. And then, uh, Milwaukee Waterfall. So, um... I don't know. Let's see. We got Dominic Fletcher, Noah Syndergaard, 
Ryan Fortes, Tanner Beebe. He had a pretty good year. We do get a Grayson Rodriguez rookie debut. Chad Green, Mason Miller rookie. Michael Bush rookie debut, which I think his I think his rookie cards in this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we got what uh, Ruch, Ruchy. Is that a, I think it's a, supposed to be. I'm hoping that's supposed to be an exclamation mark. Uh, walk off. Arcia, Duran, and Cosgrove, and Holderman, and De Los Santos. Um, not sure. It doesn't really look like we got anything insert wise. Just kind of double check and make sure I didn't potentially miss um, one of the SSPs. But I think I want. I'm gonna assume that like if one of the rookie debuts has the um, the variation. Um, I would assume that it wouldn't say rookie debut on it, but uh, we got Owen Miller, Nolan Gorman, rookie debut, Connor Wong, Britton Doyle, Alfonso Rivas, Blake Perkins, Joey Ortiz. We got Adrian Beltre, uh, 88 design. I think these are like one in three packs. Zach Gallon, all star. Uh, then we got Tim Heron, Michael Kelly, new battery, and new look twins. So, which I, seem, I feel like they do a lot of these veteran combo cards now. I don't know. I feel like there's enough players in the league, enough players that get pulled up. I don't feel like these uh, veteran cards are as needed. But uh, we got Bright Future, we got Trout and Rodriguez. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like. I don't know. Seems like a little much with some of those, but that's just that's just my opinion. Um, Candelario, Levi Strout. We got Zach McKinstry, Nelson Velaquez, uh, Hernandez, and we are going to get a relic. It looks like Will Smith relic, numbered to one ninety nine. So at least it's numbered. Uh, Contreras, Yerman, and Hogan Harris, Chad Smith. Uh, relic is our hit, but it's okay. We got Gordo Julian, Hanniger, Dylan Dodd, Dustin May, Jake Bird, uh, Sorching Start, Morel, Brooks Raley, and we got Action Stars, Juan Soto, which these I have to double check. I feel like these are a little bit of a tougher pull this year. Uh, or, well, actually, it's, well, first off, it's a new insert set, but this is an insert set that's a little bit of a tougher pool, which um, I don't know if these would be quite as case hits. I don't think they're that um, rare, but I would definitely have to double check that. Uh, we got Michael Walker, uh, City Swap, Sam Hentges, and Royalty. Um yeah, that I had to double check. I forgot. I meant to pull up the checklist. All right, I meant to pull up the odds before I started the, uh, before I hit the record button, and then uh, I did forget to. But Yoshida rookie debut. We got Gregory Soto, Judah Downs rookie, Oswald Peraza. Then we got Frankie Montas, Michael Harris rookie debut, Kyle Finnegan, Ozzy Albies. That's an All Star card. Then we got AJ Puck. Matt Gage, Cesar Salazar, Perez, and Sir Anthony Dominguez. We got Omar Navarres, Garrett Crochet, Gabriel Moreno, a uh, rookie, uh, which he will have, I believe he has a D backs true rookie in this set, if I'm not mistaken. We got Ben Attendee, Dylan Moore, Randy Vasquez, Richard Blyer, and we get Bryce Miller, 88, Jackson Profar, uh, Family Business, In-Laws, Face Off in the Bronx, Crawford and Garrett Cole, Vespi, Galapsby, I'm not too sure if I pronounced that name right, and then Michael Fulmer. Uh, rookie combos on the back. We got Dominic Smith, Brent Hedrick, 
Tanner Beebe, rookie debut. Descafani, Archero, rookie. Zach Weiss, Brett Phillips. Behind that, we got a Kiermaier. Cool looking Brett Phillips card. Kiermaier, uh, rainbow. Then we got Mikel Castro. Volpe joins the party. Wonderful time in Tampa. And Coing and Espinoza rookie combo. So, all right, this pack will get us halfway through. We got Matt Reynolds. Michael Stefanik. Atlanta Bats Awaken. We got Brad Hand. Joey Ortiz, rookie. Tyler Anderson, Joey Wendell. We got Will Smith, all star. And then we got time spanning tandems. Barry Larkin, Joey Votto. Kind of cool looking insert. I don't mind some of those, uh, those dual inserts like that where you got a current day player and a former player. We got Renfro, Dylan Floro, and Brewer Hickling. I believe you pronounce that name. Next pack, we got Patrick Corbin, Danny Mendick, Aaron Bummer, Pablo Lopez, Aaron Hicks, Oscar Gonzalez, rookie debut, Juan Yepes. I always like to double check the last one right before. We got Yuri Perez, and we get rookie debut, Corbin Carroll, Christian Pache, Gus Verlin, and uh, Bryce Turin, rookie debut. So. Got the Corbin Carroll rookie debut. He's uh, had a phenomenal season. He's having a very nice postseason as well so far. Um, definitely curious to see if the D-backs sweep the Dodgers tonight. Definitely curious to see that, which uh, that would be a, a huge surprise to me. Um, not trying to take away anything from the D-backs, but I, I could see the D-backs winning the series. I was not. I would never picture them sweeping the series. But uh, Gunnar Henderson rookie debut, Zach Nito, Oscar Collis rookie debut, Chase DeYoung. We got Rutschman rookie debut, Elvis Andrews, Kellenick. Then we got Sam Bachman. I'm assuming we don't have any inserts. This one, Trevor Williams, Emmanuel Valdez. Mason Miller, rookie debut, and then Strasburg. Uh, yeah, nothing looking like... Seems like the parallels are flipped around if you do get a parallel. We got Drew Maggie. This guy was a, a phenomenal story uh, this year. Um, career Meyer leaguer. Um, I forget exactly how old he was born in 89. So yeah, 30, yeah, 33 years old, played his whole career in the minor leagues and then gets, gets called up. Um, pretty cool story, honestly. Uh, Casey Smith, rookie debut, Spencer Turnbull, uh, Maris, rookie Chavez, Kurt, uh, excuse me, Kyle Muller, excuse me, Yuri Perez, rookie, which like I said, is probably one of the top true rookies in this set. Uh, we do get a Rutschman, which I don't know why, but that, that looks a little faded to me. But And then we get a Topps Black Gold. These are one of my favorite sets. Um, I always This is one of the main reasons why I'm looking forward to update are these Topps Black Gold inserts. Uh, we do get Tristan Casa, so one of, one of the rookies out of the set. Um, I forget. These are like one in... I don't think you're guaranteed one in a, in a regular hobby box. Uh, I could be mistaken on that, though. We got Kevin Kelly, Vinny Pasquantino, rookie debut, and Vasquez. Um, I forget the odds, but they are, they're, you know, regular insert, but they are a little tougher uh, to pull than you would think. Um, but yeah, Tops Black Gold, I, I'm a, I was a big fan of that set in, I think it was 93 when it first came out. We got Jose Barrio, Garrett Hill. Superstar Talk, Chapman and Trout, Rob Refsnyder, Joe Mantabli, Casey Schmidt, uh, true rookie, Carlos uh, Steves, and then we got Mason Engelhart, Engler, 
silver, or rainbow foil, I should say, excuse me. We got Mark Leiter, Christopher Morrell, rookie debut. We got Rich Hill and Brito. So, got a rookie, not really the rookie I'm looking for, but still, at least it's, I'm always, I'm usually not too disappointed if I get at least a, a rookie on the parallels. Um, I don't know, it kind of gives me a feeling of, wasn't just like a, a veteran that I have no interest in. But we got uh, Cabello, Fire Rising, Fairbanks, Haggerty, Kenta Mejia, Gavin Stone, Rookie, Jason Hayward, Francisco Mejia. Then we got Tatis, 88. Do you get the Francisco Alvarez Rookie debut? Uh, Lindgren and Hoeing and Zach Eflin for the, uh, for the Rays, which just with me being a, I'm a big fan of, uh, Francisco Alvarez, so at least I'll, you know, be able to pull one of his base cards. I know it's a dollar card or whatever, but for me, um, we got Amir Garrett, May, uh, Nar Narcisco Crook, Drury, Solano, Mejita, JP Spears. Uh, Quiz, Hunter Brown, Rookie. Then we do get a veteran combo that is numbered to 2023. Crawford and Cole, Gold, Matt Schramm, JJ Blue Day, True Rookie with the A's, and Langoliers Rookie Debut. A couple of packs left. Brandon Pfat, Rookie. And, uh, Andrew Chafin, Luizica. Matt Mervis, Rookie. Teoscar Hernandez, Jared Schulster, Kodai Singer, Singa, rookie debut, Vargas. Then we got Anthony Volpe, uh, 88, Robbie Grossman, Corey Jolks, and Taj Bradley, rookie debut. So three packs left, and then the silver pack. We got Eric Hosmer, Lamont Wade Jr., Corey Bradford, David Peralta, Schulster, Odor, we got Hobie Harris, be honest with you, name I don't even recall hearing this year, uh, Matt Mervis, rookie debut, we got the Bichette All-Star Game, and I always like to check the card before the insert, just in case if it's a parallel or a numbered card, and I may have, may have not have been flipped around. Brandon Woodruff, Brett Wisely, and Logan O'Hoppy. He, he was on a tear uh, to end the season when he came back from his injury. I think he had like nine home runs in like the last month of the season, I think. So he's going to be a he's gonna be a really fun player to watch, I think. We got Jose Siri, James Caprillion, Nolan Jones, rookie. Miguel Vargas, debut. Roman Wick, Laguma. Another one of those names, not 100% sure on. Uh, Trevor Steppen. And all right, another Topps Black Gold, Corbin Carroll, which I, I really don't think you should be getting two of these per hobby box. Maybe they're six, maybe they're one per 16 packs. But uh, probably, probably the top rookie to get out of uh, the Topps Black Gold, Corbin Carroll, which I'll gladly take. And then Casas is definitely up there. He had a really good year. Paxton, Bristow, Fairchild, and Jason DeLay. So I'm happy pulling the two black golds, uh, especially one being Carroll and pulling Casas. I'm definitely not going to complain about that, pulling those two. We got Cooper Hummel, Thaddeus Ward, Jordan Walker, rookie debut, Mark Melanson, Alex Cole, rookie. Uh, Kutch back at home, Seth Lugo, and we pulled an SSP, Steven Strasburg, SSP. This is the first one that I've actually pulled for myself. It's a shame to see what, I, it's a shame uh, with Strasburg. I mean, his, uh, unfortunately, his career just derailed with, uh, with injuries, um, and he just hasn't been able to make it back, but, uh, um, it's a shame. I mean, he was such a he was such a dominant pitcher, and unfortunately, you know, like what the last three seasons, 
you know, seven games. Um, and just hasn't been the same. Um, it's a shame because I know he, uh, he announced his retirement, uh, uh, a little earlier this year. Um, I forget, maybe a month, month and a half ago, something like that. But Nicky Lopez, Sean Bouchard, Max Power, Max Muncy card, and Jordan Lyles to finish off the box. So, all right, silver pack time. Let's see what we get. Uh, it would be nice if we can get one numbered card, but we'll see. We got Fujinami. Do we get a Corbin Carroll? Definitely won't complain about that. G uh, JT, Real Muto, excuse me. And Jory Ortiz. Not the Orioles. I saw Orioles, got a little excited, but unfortunately not the Oriole that I'm personally, you know, one or one of the Orioles that I'm looking for. But um, hey, I'm happy getting the Corbin Carroll. Uh, I'll gladly take that with no questions asked. So um, overall, I'm I'm happy with this box. I, I really can't complain uh, regarding this box overall. I mean, I know the relics, they're kind of a little bit of a buzzkill, which I feel like these relics are almost like a little thinner than normal, actually. But, I mean, it, the relic was numbered to 199, so, you know, not a total loss in my opinion. But, um, you know, gray jersey. I mean, it's better than a white napkin. But, I mean, realistically, though, pulling an SSP, which... Uh, like I said, I have not pulled one for myself yet. The Action Stars, I think they're a pretty cool looking insert this year. Um, the the top uh, the tops black gold definitely one of my favorites. And you know, I mean overall, decent decent little box in my opinion. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about tops update series. You ripping it? You ignoring it? Um, just buying singles? I got a lot of little cards that I want to sleeve up. I just didn't want to make this longer than it really needed to be. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about update series. We will be doing some breaks of it actually later tonight. Uh, this video should be up about 6 p.m. Eastern. We should be live with a break about 7.45, 8 p.m. with a live uh, two hobby box break. And then we will be doing some more breaks of this a little later in the weekend. Um, if not before Saturday, definitely Saturday the latest. latest. So if you want to get into any of my live breaks, follow me on Instagram. That is where I post my breaks and how you can get in. And um, if you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. Please leave a like on the video. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.